This is Denver Police case number 2002-53625, which is a cold case homicide investigation of Xavier Walker, which occurred on Wednesday, November 20th, 2002. Xavier was shot once in the chest and pronounced deceased at Denver Health Medical Center. He is my, my son, my only son. I should have never had to bury my little brother, being 16 years old. That was just like the worst day of my life. On Wednesday, November 20th, 2002, about 3.30 in the afternoon, Denver police officers responded to Falcon Park in Montbello. Callers reported a large group of individuals, a fight, and subsequently gunshots fired in the park. When the officers arrived, they found 16-year-old Xavier Walker suffering from a gunshot wound in the chest. He was found just to the east of the bleachers in the park. He was transported to Denver Health Medical Center where he was pronounced deceased. From all the reports that we had from the scene, he wasn't involved in the fight. It looks like he was just maybe there to see what was going on. That day I was working in the ER and I noticed there were a lot of police in the ER. So I said, hey, did an officer get shot? And they're like, no, it was a kid in Montbello. And I said, Montbello? And all of a sudden, I heard a scream in the driveway. It was my niece. She was like, auntie, you know, I think uh, Xavier, something happened to Xavier. I don't know, I think he's been shot. I was maybe like two or three blocks away from the park and I had seen my cousin and she had told me that my brother got shot and I didn't believe her. I was like just standing there looking at her and she told me to get in the car. I didn't know at the time where Xavier was. I didn't know what had taken place. <sighs> Somebody grabbed my shoulders and it was like, Xavier, he's sending the paramedics. The paramedics were bringing him over and I just dropped the phone and I just ran over there. My brother came and he said, let's go. Um, I think Xavier is dead. I mean, that's just something that you never want to see your relative come in dead on the gurney. I will never forget that day in my life. I wanted him to have a full, long, loving life, but his life was cut short. Oh, ever have done this. I pray that they have a heart, you know. Please come forth. Don't let fear stand in your way. His case has been a cold case for a long time and I just want it to be solved because he deserves that. He was a good person. He didn't deserve to go as early as he did. I just pray that whoever did this to my brother will come forward. Just please have a heart, because we're suffering on the inside. He was my only brother, and I miss him dearly. Someone out there knows who shot this young man. We're hoping that someone will come forward and tell us what happened. If you know anyone that was there that day, or anyone that has any information about this case, Please call Crime Stoppers. You can remain anonymous. Just the smallest bit of information can help us bring this case to a conclusion. It's hard because a month after my son died and my husband died, and they both were my strength. It's so hard, 14 years, 14 years have gone by, and I just pray that justice will be served.